back up to Kaiti Mar! Hello! And thank you for joining me on another one of my lifestyle series videos. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dimitri and I'm an American expat living in the Philippines. Here, I'm going to share with you how my life is going living in Metro Manila. If you find this video entertaining, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy as I take you on a journey of my daily life as a time-lapse traveler. That's one of the things that you will only find in the Philippines. Hello, and welcome to another episode from the Time-Lapse Traveler. This time I'm here with my new friends, Camille, that you, Hi. Might, you might remember her from one of my recent videos. The Well Cafe. And her boyfriend, Jay. Yeah. So they're going to be accompanying me here in Cardamar. Yeah, we'll I'm be paying tour guide. <laughs> today, I want to show you guys what this place is all about and some of the many different shops that are here. Also, we're using uh, this new microphone set, so <laughs> hopefully the sound quality will be better than some of my previous videos. Well, it's <laughs> going to be up to you guys to decide, so down in the comments, please let me know how you feel about the quality of the sound and everything else that you see in this video. And so, let's get to it, shall we? Hi guys, I'm Camille. I live here in Pasay. Karate Mar has been established in 1957, so it's now 70 years old. The name actually derives from who? It derives from the founders, Carios, Timotea, and Margarita. So this place is technically the Jurassic ancestor to oh, in mega malls of today. It was the forerunner of the malls in Green Hills. Back in the late 50s up to the 70s, this was the place to go for for everything clothing footwear bicycles pets pet supplies kitchen supplies and of course the wet market everything under one roof but not quite centralized air conditioning so if you look to the left you will see rows upon rows of separate air conditioners because the mall isn't providing centralized air conditioning wow damn actually yeah i just realized that because when i passed by here before i definitely did not notice that that's one thing to note that it's an old structure it's something that is trying to still remain relevant and capture a market but this is the place to go where when you do not want to go downtown to Divisoria or to Barbara. Green Hills I have a baby, you know, I have five dogs Thank you, bye-bye so. This is the side where the pets get groomed, treated, taken care of or we can buy a pet here Along with all the supplies Okay, let's escape the heat. Pet city. There's cats, dogs, everything from treatment to the pet itself. Pet shops are not the only places where you can find a pet. Something unique. Pussy! Look, I made a friend. And look, they have a mascot. So friendly. <laughs> Pusa. Ming Ming. Shop out. Oh, no. no. <laughs> do forgive. Do forgive this man. For shop out. No. You don't want to be mine. shop out. It's not shop out. <laughs> cat gives massages according to the owner. Really? The, I can get a massage from the cat. Yeah. <laughs> sit over there and. Doggies. Oh my God! Look at. This. Oh my God! How cute is this? This is so adorable. Thank God you're not saying. Ooh, carpet sample. Oh maggots! Whoa! Yeah. That Universe. is crazy! Yes, why I bought you here? Maybe you can get one as a pet. It's a lot of crawling around. Uh, don't get too close, those things bite. Yeah, hopefully they don't jump. Here's Cartimar, the pet center. You can look here, specifically. Everything's there. From cats, dogs, oh, okay. you name it, they pretty much have it. Back up to Cartimar! Now we're in the pet the area. area is exclusively pet supplies. Pet supplies and pets. Cool, so it's, not, it's not just one store, not even a couple of stores. It's a whole bunch, huh? Yes. <laughs> Very good. So it's a whole district. So everything that's in fly crawl. Mall shoe, bite shoe, scratches shoe, creepy yeah. crawlies, you can, you can, furry, fluffy. Oh, it really smells like a pet shop. I want to touch the pet. But do not touch. I know I can't touch the dog because the imprint. So Ooh, sad. Frenchy. They look oh, Frenchy. so soft. Look at that. What kind of Frenchy, ma'am? The black. I need mail. The French is a 35 but mail. With papers. Oh, the French bulldog that's the black one is a 35. Oops, whoa. With, with paper. With paper siya. Uh -oh. American bully. Ah, American bully. Okay, sorry. Hello. 
I don't want to touch. I feel. Wow, his paws are huge. Look at that. He's so small, but his paws are like. That thing's gonna be so big. Ito. Claws are very big. What kind of shaman? Thirty-five. A thirty-five din siya. American bully, mom, sixty thousand. Ito, ito, ito. Fresh bully. Ito yung French. Ito yung American bully. I'm oh, confused now. It's like a little bit of a mess. It's a little bit of a mess. It's just a little bit of a mess. Is it Beagle or Pomeranian or Shishu? Mmm, puppy, don't touch the imprint. If you touch, you buy him. You take him home. Take him to wifey. And this is where they get washed. Oh my god. So cute. Thank you very much. They sell the dogs with papers here. Papers fully vaccinated. Now we go under the sea. <laughs> under the sea or the pond. Take your pick. And maybe if you get a big, big dog, you put it here. Oh, to teach about body language. That's really good. A lot of people only wish that they can understand their pets, their dogs in particular. The body language actually is that they communicate. Oh, these are very interesting looking pellets of food. I've, yeah. I've never seen that kind of food oh. before. In all honesty, I've never in my life seen this many pet shops all in one spot. Except for medical, just about every kind of pet related need can be taken care of just in this section of the Cardamar Mall. Yeah, from the cages to the bags. Oh, these are cool. I like those. All you need is a backpack or maybe a clutch to put them in. For a second, I thought this was real. Bili pa yung tayo, minang alaga. Oh, here's the crickets, real crickets. Oh wow! And they're even they're sold guys as food. Okay, food, not a pet. I see. Okay. Maybe get a fish, bring him home. Suck this tiny. Easy to take care of. Pet ideas. Wow! Look at the colors over here. Yeah, colors of the rainbow. And it's interesting how they're fairly evenly spread out. Like they having Hi. social distancing or something. Hi. I would have bought my dog and brought them to the pet crate, but the other one said no. I normally bring my pets here. They crate literally the dog. Hi guys. Hi Kuya, oh. welcome to our vlog. Makano na to? The pong, oh. ganda ng pong. Hello, Fluffy. I cannot touch. Don't touch as much as I want to. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to be imprint. Please do not touch. Look at the sign, guys. Yeah. Once you touch them, they imprint on you. You should buy them if you touch them. Hi. Look, it's waving, oh. It's waving to me, yeah. So cute. Um, Oh yeah, the reason guys for them not letting you touch the pets is you might bring them sickness or viruses. Oh yeah. And if you have other pets and then you touch the pet itself, you might get them sick, okay? That's the sign. That is very important. That's the sign. Do not touch, please. That's right. Oh my god, look at this face over here. Look at that face. Pregnant. Kailanju. Oh, that dog's uh, no, soon to deliver. Pregnant doggy. Kitty. Oh. I can introduce you to the dirty ice cream, but it's not really dirty. It's Filipino ice cream. It's made from coconut milk. Hi, Kuya! Ano may ice cream? Ice cream! Dirty ice cream. Merienda. Cheers. Cheers. I want to get one of those, but I already have five. Yeah, that's a, that's a good amount already. Birds, fish, here. And supplies, more. Yeah, that's a lot of pet stores. Yes. Warning, do not come here if you have asthma and allergy to pets. <laughs> Because a place you will smell of them. Wow, I don't think I've rabbits, ever seen rabbits. so many pet shops in one place before. Rabbits, hamsters, cats. Up. Look, a mascot. A white palm, so fluffy. How cute, cute, baby. Baby. I can't touch you. My dogs will get jealous. They know. 
They know when you come home yeah. <laughs> and they smell other dogs uh, uh, that you touch. You've betrayed us, human. Oh, no. <laughs> We're five already. Are we not enough? Oh, another dream dog of mine. Husky. Enjoying the cone? <laughs> I'm enjoying the cone, but I'm trying not to enjoy the paper. Which <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm doing by accident anyway. Look, birdies! Look at this! One five each. Okay, one five each. And look at the pretty owner. I think you're the owner, right? He's the owner. Hi, welcome to our Hello. vlog. This is our store. She has cute, cute pets. Pet ideas. Maybe a hamster for you and the wife. Maybe. <laughs> So, there's never a chance for them to like hop off and you know go somewhere? Uh, no, no, sir. Nice. Um, now he's thinking of a pet. Like, like home TV shopping. If you think those are, that's a lot of rats. Look! Oh, wait, there's more. There's yeah. more here. Oh my god, that's a lot of birds. Why are you Facebook, Facebook. Um, you have a choice of either getting them as pet, but some people actually buy them as pet food. Pet food, yeah. <laughs> Dual use, right? <laughs> you can use it as a pet until you change your mind. Oh, hedgehog. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm a big fan of hedgehogs. Facebook, Facebook. Nice. My new vlogging partners, Camille and her boyfriend Jay, spent a good chunk of the day with me exploring some of the different areas of the old Cardamore Mall where I shot close to two hours of videos. Showing all the elements in this one episode would turn it into an epic disaster. And so, as the name implies, I only chose to focus in the pet shop sections here. In the upcoming episodes of this Cardamore series, we're going to explore some of the food in and around this old mall, as well as some of the other shops, ending up in the famous and historic Capital Harlem restaurant where we enjoyed a lovely dinner. That and much more will be coming to you in some of the upcoming episodes. In the meantime, this is where we're going to close out this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing at least some of the animals here, even if, like my wife Chris, you are not a big fan of the small creatures crawling around in their containers, you are still able to enjoy this video as a whole. If you did have a good time watching it, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, since your support really matters a lot. Please always take care of yourselves and each other, and of course, keep looking out for more fun and exciting videos coming at you from the Time Lapse Traveler.